At first sight, a lockdown is a bad thing for you as an artist. Art fairs are cancelled, galleries are closed more days or even have to close their doors. I'm going to show you in this video that you can still sell art in a lockdown and even take advantage of a lockdown situation. Welcome back to the studio. My name is Wim. If you are new here, this is a place where I talk about paintings, painting techniques, art marketing and much more. So consider subscribing if you are an artist or just enjoy looking at paintings and art. A crisis is an excellent opportunity to reinvent yourself or learn to deal with a difficult situation. For those who are new to selling art, a lockdown seems to trigger the panic mode. At first sight this makes sense because you only see negative messages everywhere. Remember, panic is always a bad advisor. Therefore, always try to think clear in every situation. But if you are like me and have been making and selling art for years, you've already experienced these times. Just think of the financial crisis in 2008 and even further back in time to the 9-11 attacks. By following this step-by-step -step plan, I personally, as an artist, have not suffered any loss of income during the lockdown. At times I even sold more paintings than in a lockdown situation. On the other hand, I do think that the record prices of art now are not achieved at auctions at, let's say, Sotheby's or Christie's. But this is a target group that most of us do not reach and that we do not focus on in the first place. Okay, how do you approach this lockdown as an artist? Well, a lot of people are forced to sit at home during a lockdown and have time to think about their interior and even redecorate it. Many people are even required to work from home. They spend more time at home than ever before. So many of them are therefore willing to invest in their interior. At such a moment, you as an artist can make a difference and address your contacts with new artworks. Of course, it is important that you have a customer base with email addresses. Email marketing remains a very effective tool even today. My open rate for emails is always around 80% which is very good, I think. So suppose you have a thousand contacts, 800 of them will certainly have seen your mail. To compare, you have to put in a lot of effort into it to get 800 people in one gallery. It is also important to know that it is easier to sell a work of art to someone who already owns one or more of your artworks then to convince a new customer to buy. So during a lockdown, be sure to pay the necessary attention to existing customers. Thanks to the lockdown, there are indeed people who will earn less money, but there are also many people who earn the same amount of money or even more. So definitely take the opportunity to reach these people. Maybe you are familiar with the 80-20 principle. The 80-20 principle tells us that 80% of our profits actually come from 20% of our customers. Although this isn't always the case, it is always important to see which customers are the best to work for, who pays the fastest and who needed a lot of chasing. You need to do an honest roundup from time to time to discover which customers are just a pain in the back and which ones are the best to focus on. And focus on those customers that you're happy with and who pay you on time and dedicate less time to those that don't. Now that you may have more time through the lockdown, it is also important to refresh and update your website. Get sold paintings from your website. You can only sell a painting once and it draws the attention away from the works that are still for sale. 
Remember, your website is primarily a sales tool and not a museum of sold paintings. Now that you're working on your website, remember to include the price of each work of art. You can see the price at every web shop. Why would you treat your website and artworks differently? When a potential buyer has to contact you first, that is already a possible obstacle in the sale. Let's say you need to contact the seller first on Amazon to find out the price. You would find that absurd, but it should not be any different on your website. Place prices with your artworks. One of the consequences of a lockdown is that people cannot spend money on, for example, travel and restaurant visits. The money therefore remains available to possibly buy art. So this is another advantage for you as an artist. As an artist you have to be creative in creating art. Well, use the same creativity as an entrepreneur. Challenge yourself to walk new paths. For example, make a video about your work of art Tell what can be seen in your painting and what the meaning is. That way a potential buyer is more engaged with you and your artworks. It may be a difficult step for you, but I know that customers really appreciate having more information about you and your artworks. Now that you have less cost due to the disappearance of art fairs, you can offer something extra for your customers. For example, free and short shipping. That way the customer is satisfied because he does not have to pay extra shipping costs. Finally, another important element to consider when sending art during a lockdown. Not all areas are reachable for shipping. So be sure to contact your courier service before sending an artwork. As you can see, a lockdown in itself does not have to be a negative element in the sale of art. By being creative in all areas, I have no lost anything in income. Hopefully this video will bring you some ideas and you will continue to sell art in less economic times. During a lockdown, people need positivity and like to forget about reality for a while. They like to temporarily disappear into another world. Maybe you can offer them the opportunity with your art. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you have come away with some new ideas. If you want even more information about my paintings, make sure to find my website by clicking the link in the description below. If you liked this video, hit the like button and leave a comment below. But make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I have another fresh new video on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining me. It was an absolute pleasure to have you here. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.